So in your lab for mitosis, one of the things you are going to be asked to do is to um, calculate how long it takes for each one of the hours of mitosis to actually happen. Um, so in this example, I've taken the set of data we actually used in the video that Liz and I recorded uh, as kind of our example problem here. So in your lab book, there is an equation here of what you are going to be using, right? So it is 24 hours. All right, because, uh, you know, the cycle for mitosis takes about 24 hours if we go all the way through the whole thing from interphase all the way through telophase and then cytokinesis at the end. All right, so we're going to use that as our estimate, right? So there are 24 hours. Then what we'll do is we'll multiply that times the number of cells that we have counted in each stage, right? So the number of cells in each stage. And then what we'll do is we'll divide that by the total of everything we counted. So this is the total of all cells. All right, so if we do one example here, all right, let's do interphase. All right, so with interphase, so if we want to know um, hours in interphase, we will take 24, so 24 hours times the number that we counted in interface. Okay, so that's 225. And then we will divide that by the total of all the cells that were counted, which is 366. Um, so we pull up trusty calculator here. Uh, that is 24 times 225 divided by 366 and that gives us 14.75 hours so again we should do this for all of them right with prophase instead of the 225, right, with prophase, we would be using 50. For prometaphase, we would use 35, uh, and, you know, all the way through until telophase, which you would use 19. But the equation is exactly the same, all right? So you can calculate every single hour. And then at the end, what you should find is that the total of all the stages, if you add them up, should equal to 24 hours, right? Because we're basically just taking a percentage of each one uh, and taking that 24 hours into account.